Hello, handsome. So do you remember a few years ago when Spotify told you that you listened to like 600 different genres in a year? Well, there's a possibility that one of those genres was Escape Room, and if you were really confused, you weren't alone. Escape Room is one of the many genres that Spotify uses to categorize its artists, and in this video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what this genre is and why a lot of people have a problem with it. Be sure to leave a like if you dig the video, and let's get started. So first things first, what is Escape Room? It's a genre coined by data alchemist Glenn McDonald that first appeared in 2016. However, it really started to catch people's attention more over the next few years. Most people saw it on their Spotify wrapped, which if you don't know, is a recap of all your favorite songs and artists and genres over the year. Escape Room probably showed up on your wrapped if you listen to artists like FKA Twigs, JPEG Mafia, Kira Kira Benito, or Death Grips. Now, the obvious question, if you're familiar with any of these artists, is what the hell do Kiro Kiro Benito and Death Grips have in common? Well, that's the problem that people have with Escape Room. Instead of grouping these artists based solely on sound, they're grouped on the people who listen to them. They have some comparisons sonically, but that's not the reason that they are grouped together in this genre. So essentially what Spotify does is it collects data on everything, much like every app on your phone, and it spits that information back to people like Glenn McDonald, and it's his job to sort through it. Sometimes he'll find a cluster of data that doesn't really go together, so he'll try to make sense of it and put a label to it. He's given a few insights into how the name Escape Room came to be with, quote, this is one where the genre comes from collective listening patterns but I made up the name myself because I couldn't figure out any existing one to apply. The vibe is kind of an underground slash PC music slash Indietronic slash activist hip hop kind of thing. And I thought of escape room, both for the sense of escaping from trap and for the ideas of excitement, puzzle solving and endurance implied by the actual physical escape room phenomenon. And in a similar vein, escape room is a particularly in jokey sort of name. It feels connected to trap sonically, although it's more experimental, indie, R&B pop that spins off from the sonics of trap. I just thought about the trap and the idea of puzzle solving in an escape room. So the next question we need to ask is how do we define a genre? Normally it's defined by the artist during a certain time period and it goes from there. Take disco for example. It comes from when in the 70s disco techs were really popular and there was a formula between the artists musically. But in the age of the internet, these labels can be attributed to the audience as well as the artist. Spotify says they, quote, define genres based on info from listener playlists, title, description, etc., and our music curation teams. The way they organize everything is incredibly fluid, and they state this with, quote, we recognize genres constantly evolve and songs can cross different genres. The way we assign songs to genres may change over time and we may add new genres too. At this point, if you are against this form of labeling or escape room in general, you may be thinking that Glenn McDonald is some evil corporate devil man. However, from the digging that I've done, it just sounds like he's a nerd who likes music and analyzing data. In fact, he has a pretty cool website called Every Noise at Once that sorts through and labels what seems like every genre ever. It's a really big word cloud of different genres and artists, and you can actually filter by some pretty interesting traits such as femininity, emergence, or color. Escape Room is obviously one of the genres that's listed on here, and this is what the word cloud for Escape Room looks like right now. The front page is the master word cloud of genres, and the description on the website says that it's organized by quote, in general, down is more organic, up is more mechanical and electric, left is denser and more atmospheric, right is spikier and bouncier. It's a project that's constantly evolving and I bring it up because I think it's important to kind of give some context to who Glenn McDonald is and why he labels these things kind of the way he does. I'm not gonna go in depth into how this project works because it's pretty dense, but I would highly recommend checking it out. All in all, Glenn is a very interesting guy, and he does have a very unique way of viewing musical genres. So, what was the public response to Escape Room? Overall, it was pretty much just confusion, since Spotify rap doesn't really come with a dictionary. When people started to figure it out, though, opinions were kind of mixed. Responses ranged from, 
It honestly just seems like every alt Gen Z person's taste, which I live for, to, I don't know, but according to Spotify Wrapped, I listen to it a lot, to Anthony Fantanocore. Most of all, however, when people started to kind of reflect on the genre, they weren't thrilled with Spotify's over-labeling and also grouping artists who don't really sound all that much alike. Which brings us to our last point. Spotify is built off of data and listening habits. It is the amalgamation of the modern internet's data mining and also just the vast landscape of music. I mean, think about it. There's always been evolution and genre crossovers, but in the age of the internet, everything moves so quickly it can almost be dizzying. We have more access to music than ever before, and you can hear everything from Beyonce's newest single to a guy making bossa nova in his attic, back to back and in the same playlist. It would make sense that Spotify would try to label everything in order to market it better. It kind of reminds me of back in 2019 when they released their Hyperpop playlist, and it caused a big stir with underground artists from being labeled by this corporate giant. There's been a lot of pushback against streaming services for other reasons, but it is hard to deny that they have an influence in the music industry. Making it onto a Spotify playlist can give a smaller artist the exposure needed in order to grow bigger, and Escape Room is just one of the many labels that it uses in order to push those playlists. So now I want to know, what do you think of Escape Room? Do you like the label or is it unfair to group artists based on listening patterns? Do you think Spotify has a habit of over-labeling and do you think it's negatively affecting artists? Let me know what you think in the comments down below and in the meantime, I'll go ahead and link to another one of my um, genre videos in the end card if you really like this one. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.